And Mr. Lipinski, before you start, I would like to point out that uh, uh, Mr. Webster did mention the, uh, the RIF process, which again in PREA, uh, we will be streamlining. That bill will be coming up here shortly. Anytime we get an opportunity to talk about PREA and our bipartisan work on this committee, uh, we, we like to do so. We're looking forward to streamlining that and forcing uh, quicker decisions. Mr. Lipinski. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. And uh, yeah, it's, it's great to see uh, bipartisan cooperation here. We're continuing that uh, into this Congress. So hopefully we can uh, continue that in a lot of things here on, the, on this committee. I, I, I certainly. Um, you know, I, I'll leave uh, some time at the end for another uh, area of questioning, but uh, since we're talking about uh, Chicago, and um, uh, I know Mr. Hamburger wasn't serious when he said Memphis was the best rail town. Let, let the, the record show. I said Memphis is right up there. <laughs> All right. I, I'm going to have to trade association the record you know, I come wasn't on. here. I, I, but that's, uh, so, create. Uh, we have now made a tremendous amount of progress on CREATE, uh, but a lot of the big projects are left undone. And for me, as someone who has to go home and talk to my constituents who are stuck at rail crossings all the time, and that's their biggest concern, um, that's a big, that's thing, something I hear about all the time, and we have not made great progress on, uh, you know, great separations. Uh, the other part of it that is big thing that are, are left to do, the other big projects, are the uh, rail flyovers. So it's, it's a big project, really big projects that aren't done yet. So I just want to ask you, Mr. Hamburger, if, what your, uh, if you have any particular suggestions for how we get these big projects done, because everybody knows when it comes to the big projects, you've got to have all, all that money. Uh, we got the Inglewood flyover project done. Uh, it was part of um, high-speed rail funding. Uh, I think high-speed rail funding is going to be um, we're not going to have a whole lot of money there, to say the least, I, I believe, going into the future, unfortunately. But um, so how are we going to get these, these big projects done, and what are the railroads willing to do, you know, both for the flyovers, which are, are, are important, but also the grade separation? So I want to talk to you, we need to talk about both of those. Uh, I will submit, for the record, a, a letter I sent to uh, the former Secretary of Transportation of the State uh, making a commitment to uh, live up to our obligations on all of those uh, grade crossings as well as to increase the amount of money that we had committed to the 75th Street uh, uh, SIP. Uh, to me, the big question is, uh, your, your question is tied up in the bigger question of uh, what will be the funding for the overall uh, surface transportation bill. Uh, we are committed to continuing to work with the state and with, uh, with the city. Uh, we continue to spend our own money in Chicago, as you know. But, but so. to, to get the big projects done, you're going to need big chunks of money. It's not going to, if money is just coming in formula funds from the, from, to the state, for example, the state's not going to put the huge chunks of money towards, uh, towards these projects. So we're going to need huge, we're going to need big chunks of money to get these projects done. I mean, do you have any recommendations for that? As, as we move forward, what, what can the federal government do? Let me ask you that. Well, as I say, that, to me that is tied up in what is the funding level of the, uh, the, uh, the bill going to be. Will there be a TIGER program? Will there be a project of national significance like there was? Uh, and uh, so that, that really would be uh, dictating whether or not there would be big dollars available. Yeah, and I certainly think the projects of uh, regional national significance uh, we really need to move forward to uh, get that into this next, uh, yes, sir. next bill that we're, we're working on. The other thing I want to talk about is, um, uh, you know, safety questions. You know, we have the uh, three-legged approach of prevention, mitigation, response for uh, crude by rail safety. And with regards to response, as you know, I've introduced legislation um, in this Congress that I had put in last Congress to move us towards a modernized shipping paper system by establishing standards to help both users and responders. I appreciate the railroads have put what, uh, what you've put forth uh, to develop uh, this technology, the, uh, the paperless uh, yes. system, the electronic system. Of course, we're, we still aren't at the point where we can move away from physical paper concepts, but we're making progress to ensure that first responders can access the information they need without necessarily having to board a locomotive during an emergency, which we know could be, you know, could be difficult. Moreover, the more we develop the technology, uh, the greater the opportunity we have to deploy it for other modes. 
Can you tell me at what point you expect the railroads to have a system in place that will allow first responders to input the identification number of a car and receive the consist for the, for the train? Uh, y yes, sir. It's a, a, an app we call Ask Rail. Uh, we started rolling it out, uh, I guess, last October uh, to communities. Currently, it only allows in putting uh, the car number and it will tell you what is in that car, how to deal with the contents of that car, and emergency contact information. Uh, by April 1st, that is in the next two months, uh, we hope to uh, be able to roll out, uh, and it's in beta testing now, uh, that if you put in one car number, it will give you the entire consist what's in each car, how to deal with that from a hazardous materials response, and again, the contact information. So that would be just another level. We would still have the paper, of course, uh, the, the, the telephone number, if you know the uh, railroad, uh, to call the, the, the dispatch center, but this would then be a third way uh, to get that information to the emergency responder in real time. Thank you. I know it's important uh, across the country, uh, but especially in, uh, in the Chicago area in my district. So thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Pinsky. Mr. Barletta. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.